गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू पीडियाट्रिक्स बाई डॉक्टर आनंद इज माई वॉइस ऑडिबल टू एवरी वन येस और नो अ ब्यूटिफुल इवनिंग टू ऑल दी अमेजिंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इज सच अ ब्यूटिफुल डे टूडे इज पीडियाट्रिक्स बाई डॉक्टर आनंद ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट द सीरीज ऑफ ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट इज कमिंग टू एन एंड एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज सीरीज वेरी सुन आफ्टर दिस एंड फॉर द न्यू कमर्स माई नेम इज डॉक्टर आनंद आई हैव डन माई एम बी बी एस फ्रॉम राजीव गांधी यूनिवर्सिटी हेल्थ साइंस इज बैंगलोर देन आई डिड माई एम डी इन पीडियाट्रिक्स then i did my sr shit from lady harding medical college and ndmc medical college and then we have some beautiful amazing teaching experience to the beautiful students applying for ug pg dch md dm and mr cpch exams today's topic of choice is growth and development and today we're going to talk about some beautiful amazing syndromes that is elise van creveld syndrome soto syndrome and some amazing beautiful mcqs before starting any amazing segment we always have a beautiful amazing quote and today's beautiful amazing quote is you have two choices in life you have two choices in life to accept conditions as it is or to accept the responsibility of changing them a beautiful beautiful thought my dear friends can we pay beautiful 20 seconds attention for this slide i said a very beautiful thing that you have two choices in life number one to accept the conditions as it is or to accept the responsibility of changing them so you know wherever you have a problem in life whenever you have a negative situation in life whenever you have something in life which you don't like number one either you accept it if you don't accept it have the courage and the responsibility of changing it if something negative happening in your life try to make it positive some problem is have happening in your life try to make a solution what you are not supposed to do number 1 you are not supposed to crib that oh my god why i have all the problems you are not supposed to you know make faces that god you know god is not nice with me god is doing bad for me i don't know i have not done anything wrong why god is doing that so stop doing all that we say you know cut the pravachan and start working on your you know groom yourself that's the beauty of the whole life is so that's what you have two choices in life to accept conditions as it is or to accept the responsibility of changing them again i'm asking is my beautiful voice coming to everyone yes or yes yes i just now came back from gym and today was my no today was not my biceps today was my thighs and i did amazing my instructor is really happy hello good evening nikita mansi panola shubhangi akash pande uh, beautiful osama shubhangi shubham grace sharon virendra sinha nigar ansari shubhangi kaushik and beautiful faizan raza today's topic of choice we going to talk about some beautiful syndromes this session will be for 30 minutes and this session will be spoken in english and hindi language so kya lagta hai aapko if this is the slide for today guys can you have your beautiful amazing brains and can you please tell me the findings you can see in this child or in this baby quick answers please ritu satna good evening a beautiful evening to everyone my face is glowing like a beautiful flower <laughs> because i came back from gym that's why yes the beautiful slide in this amazing slide can we appreciate something else we have fingers we have one two three four five and six so very very important more than five fingers what do you see yes bro we say polydactyly polydactyly number one is more than five fingers number one Yes, Doctor Sahar Tak Praharaj. This is the first slide, my dear. Number one, I can appreciate in this child. The child has polydactyly. Number two, what is this arrow mark? Can you beautifully answer in the comment section, please? What is this arrow mark? This beautiful arrow mark is nothing but I can say the patient has dystrophic and friable nails. Dystrophic and friable nails. Okay, we're gonna talk about some beautiful syndrome. I want you guys to pay attention. Every syndrome has some beautiful, amazing points. You must. remember in this amazing slide i understood the patient has more than five fingers as i can count here this is known as polydactyly dr osama sheikh says absent nail absent nails or i would say that nails have not been made properly that is known as dystrophic and friable nails matlab means ye nails kharab ho rahe hain kharab hone wale hain easily damage ho jate hain these nails are these nails are friable nails or dystrophic nails okay and very beautiful this is my patient this one the chotu one this one 
can i say this patient has a kind of a dwarfism yes or no i hope you know that in this beautiful slide in the previous videos we have done there are two types of dwarfism one is known as short trunk dwarfism and what was the other name beautiful people beautiful answers yes one was short limb dwarfism okay yes very beautiful yes that's nice yes dr akash in cerebellum academy will be having lectures in hindi and english also i have already started recording the lectures and that's why i have cut i'm cutting those short the classes to 30 minutes because i have to record uh, some huge amount of 50 hours of lectures so that we so that every single student in cerebellum academy is beautifully benefited so yes guys this is beautiful slide which says is nothing but ellis van crevel syndrome in the previous picture in the previous video section we had a beautiful uh, you know causes of natal teeth do you remember dr shubhangi kaushik one of my very dear student causes of natal teeth if you remember we have done something known as peas p w -E e s in the previous video we had uh, beautifully spoken about the pierre robin syndrome and in this class we're going to talk about this wala this e syndrome and that is beautifully nothing but ellis van crevel syndrome the beautiful points of Ellis Van Creveld syndrome are number one, the patient will have a short limb dwarfism. Photographing memory plays a very beautiful role in my life. And I, I can appreciate this picture of this beautiful child. This one dude is nothing but short limb dwarfism. I number two, secondly point I said, the patient will have a dystrophic friable nails. And number three, I said the patient has polydactyly. And number four, I am saying that Ellis Van Creveld syndrome patients usually have a ASD. ASD is nothing but atrial septal defect. Can you beautifully, if I ask you one random question, okay, uh, ASD, atrial septal defect, can you beautifully tell me in the comment section, ASD, is it a right to left shunt or a, a left to right shunt? Can you beautifully answer in the comment section, please? Osama, Shubhangi, Shubham, ASD kya hai? Tumare uh, ghar pe kya hai ASD? What is ASD? <laughs> ASD, 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 atrial septal defect, bro, my question is very, very important. ASD, what is ASD? Is this uh, what you call a right to left shunt or a left to right shunt? In the beautiful detail and depth cardiology segments, we have beautifully understood that if I make a four chambered heart, this is the right atrium, right ventricle and a left atrium and a left ventricle this part basically is nothing but atrial septal defect and as beautifully in the cardiology of 20 hours of cardiology depth series we have covered in my beautiful amazing pediatrics by dr anand app in that segment i already made you understand that the left side of the heart has a higher pressure uh, and a higher musculature than the right side of the heart and if i make this beautiful atrial septal defect this will be always a left to right shunt the left to right shunt the blood will move from the left to the right in an atrial septal defect or a ventricular septal defect or a defect which is present between the pulmonary artery and descending aorta patent ductus arteriosus so asd vsd pda they both are they all are left to right shunt that finishes one beautiful amazing syndrome the syndrome name is ellis van creveld syndrome has everyone beautifully understood in this part yes or yes yes please let me know let me know let me know Okay, samaj mein aaya. should I go for the next syndrome? Say yes, 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 or uh, what else? Yes, you can say that. Okay, okay, that's right. Okay, mm, let's go to the next one. Sab gaate hai, sab hi madhosh hai. Okay, Sarthak Praharaj says that, sir, which type of ASD here? My dear, dear, dear friend, Dr. Sarthak Praharaj, in this, in the Nelson, they have not mentioned it is a ostium primum or secundum or any kind of ASD. They have not mentioned in this specific syndrome because some book says ostium primum, some book says ostium secundum. So we don't have a specific, uh, you know, uh, uh, section over here and neither it is an exam question. So we don't have to worry about it. But if, as you have said, if I ask you that specifically atrial septal defect per se if today i'm reading a topic of atrial septal defect can you beautifully answer in the comment section please that atrial septal defect it which type of asd is very common if i talk about asd per se if i'm reading a topic of atrial septal defect is ostium primum type of atrial septal defect is very common or a ostium secundum type of atrial septal defect is very common 
I think yes, Dr. Virendra Sinha has very beautiful answer that if I talk about atrial septal defect per se, the most commonest type of ASD is a ostium secundum type of ASD. Okay, and if I say uh, okay, uh, if I ask you Osama kahan pe hai? And Dr. Osama, could you tell me one beautiful syndrome? If I do a filling the blanks, the most common congenital heart in dash syndrome is ostium primum type of ASD. What will you answer? Osama Sheikh, one of my favorite junior, has already told the most common congenital heart and Down syndrome is ostium primum type of atrial septal defect. I'll repeat again: the most common congenital heart disease in Down syndrome is a ostium primum type of atrial septal defect. Okay, and very very important. Uh, what do you call the most specific? The most specific uh, congenital heart and Down syndrome is endocardial cushion defect. Endo cardial cushion defect we have done that it's our duty to revise 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 till we die okay i'll repeat again pg entrance question number one the most common congenital heart disease in down syndrome is the ostium primum type of asd the most specific congenital heart in down syndrome is ostium secundum type of asd and uh, yeah money no more specific congenital heart disease in down syndrome is endocardial cushion defect and the most common is ostium primum type of asd and if i'm talking about asd per se the most commonest type of asd is ostium secundum type of asd okay this is important guys this is like really very important okay and uh, last Last question. Last question. Uh, if I ask you one more question, which is the most common congenital heart, like in which syndrome? In which syndrome the most common congenital heart is ostium secundum? Doctor Sartak Praharaj, can you beautifully answer in the comment section? अच्छा अपना भाई भी आया. Karan Bigram Singh also has come, one of our very dear students. Anji Karan, which syndrome has a very very important the most common congenital heart disease in dash syndrome is the ostium secundum type of asd as a grace uh, grace i had to give ptm you 100 rupees also in the last quiz i forgot <laughs> okay hanji who will tell me the beautiful answer yes very good in a case of holt orem syndrome holt orem syndrome i hope you remember the most common congenital heart disease in holt orem syndrome is ostium secundum type of asd and the most commonest type of asd per se also it's ostium secundum type of asd very beautiful amazing answer told by one of my very 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 good newcomer student his name is sarthak praharaj sarthak praharaj are you enjoying the pediatrics by dr rn classes please let me know <laughs> yeah great very beautiful amazing students amazing things okay so next coming to the next beautiful syndrome i'll repeat again we were discussing the causes of natal teeth we were discussing the causes of natal teeth a newborn baby having teeth in the previous video we have beautifully spoken that the first primary teeth first pri temporary teeth or i can say the primary teeth which comes in a baby is which one can you answer in the comment section yes that is nothing but yeah dr sarthak you are very right ostium secundum type of asd yes will have a right excess deviation whereas as ostium primum type of asd yes okay yes dr sarthak praharaj you are very right okay yeah great okay uh, the first temporary teeth to appear in a baby is the lower central incisor which comes by 6 to 7 months chote baby mein sabse pehla daant aata hai lower central incisor jo 6 se 7 mahine pe aata hai in newborn baby having teeth natal teeth the cause in the previous class we have beautifully understood the mnemonic was peace pia robin syndrome has been over elis van krewald syndrome has been over next beautiful is e we have epidermolysis bullosa epidermolysis bullosa this is the beautiful picture guys of epidermolysis bullosa photographic memory plays a very beautiful role so very important in epidermolysis bullosa we will not go to very very depth of every syndrome like we'll uh, we'll consider to the point epidermolysis bullosa my friends it's nothing but a very fragile skin which blister easily with a minor trauma very fragile skin which blisters easily with a minor trauma this beautiful picture is blister very importantly is like a very minor traumas are there okay these all are minor traumas and bleeds and this is beautifully a blister okay so very fragile skin very fragile skin which blister easily with minor trauma you must think of epidermolysis bullosa there are bulla bulla in the epidermis lysis breakdown and there is a formation of bulla so epidermolysis bullosa epidermis breakdown happening forming the bullosa okay 
that's very important okay pradeep singh says sir please talk in hindi okay buddy i'll as this is an english and hindi language class so i'll talk in hindi plus english okay uh, uh, dr pradeep singh is class mein hum baat kar rahe hain ki chote baby ke agar daant aa gaye to aap kya karoge to chote baby ka pehla daant to 6 se 7 mahine pe aata hai aur agar chote baby ka daant aa gaya to aur aur bhi syndromes hame sochne chahiye the beautiful mnemonic is peace that is pier robin syndrome elise van crevald syndrome epidermolysis is bullosa and last very beautiful syndrome on this planet is nothing but sotos syndrome ab chalte hain agle syndrome ke bare mein this beautiful picture this picture has been made uh, by one of my juniors very dear juniors so this beautiful slide is nothing but sotos syndrome very very important can you beautifully tell me in the comment section what are the amazing points of sotos syndrome anyone yes dr shubhangi kaushik very beautiful amazing shubhangi has a beautiful answer she says long narrow face yes my dear you are very very right long narrow face so photographic memory plays a very important role okay because uh, photo dekhiye aur ko syndrome ki uh, karne ki koshish kariye perfect bahut badhiya yes osama yes osama keh raha hai soto syndrome oscar ko bhi pata hai ki ye soto syndrome hai findings batao findings batao marne se pehle very good that's right so uh, yeah grace says blushed cheeks not blushed cheeks my dear flushed cheeks okay f f blushing nahi ho rahi yahan pe flush flushed cheeks so very very important this right is nothing but flushed cheeks very very important number 1 number 2 this one large forehead can i say macro kefali very beautiful macro kefali very number 1 flushed cheeks very important next the patient has a pointed chin the patient has a pointed chin so very beautiful points you must know the patient has macro kefali flushed cheeks pointed chin long narrow face and this beautiful amazing yes dr uh, chepuri alekhia i don't know how to pronounce your name but beautifully said is one of the amazing causes of lga yes you are very very right i recommend everyone to participate as much as possible in our slides it's beautiful that you guys are really you know answering amazing amazing that's right so how do you define lga can you answer in the comment section please i am a fmg student and i really forgot the definition of lga which is a very very common definition so what is lga i hope you know that lga is nothing but large for gestational age very well put so lga is nothing but large for gestational age number 1 and how do you define lga so lga basically is defined as yes pande very good piku <laughs> piku cute name have you seen the movie piku of dipika padukone and uh, amitabh bachchan that's right osama yeah okay very good osama agar tumne galat answer diya hota to main pakka block karta whatsapp se main lekin tumne galti se sahi answer diya hai so that's right dude wait for age bro yes wait for age more than 90th centile beautiful answer my dear friends is a very common exam question please don't forget okay so wait for age more than 90th centile is nothing but large for just age knowledge okay so we have something known as sga aga and lga revision plays a very important role you must answer because out of 10 we have out of 10 seven students they say that sir i read it and i read it very properly but i forgot in the exam because questions are sometimes many times they are repeated so revision plays a very important role so we have something known as lga sga and aga lga is nothing but large for gestational age which is nothing but wait for age more than 90th centile and soto syndrome is a very important cause for that so in this beautiful slide what did we understand i understood very important the patient has macro this is the soto syndrome the patient has uh, what do you called okay okay one second yes the patient has uh, what do you say yes right uh, macro kefali yes very good and uh, uh, flushed cheeks pointed chin large forehead long neck of face large for gestational age babies yes these are the real personalities a beautiful personality suffering from having the uh, soto syndrome so uh, this uh, uh, narrow chin like i would say pointed chin pointed chin pointed chin pointed chin very importantly the patient has macro kefali very important which very beautifully dr uh, grace sharon she has told head circumference more than two standard deviation please remember guys it is minus 3 and plus 2 micro kefali is head circumference less than minus 3 standard deviation for the age and sex and macro kefali is head circumference more than two standard deviation for the age and sex the causes of micro and macro kefali is a very commonly asked mbbs final year five marks question and we have done in depth and detail in our previous videos this beautiful slide says about sotos syndrome 
as everyone understood please let me know in the comment section yes yes or yes 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 you can give a blue heart black heart or a magenta heart <laughs> great faizan shubhangi grace so very beautiful students we have we have so many students online great perfect let's go to the next one so i understood in this beautiful slide about soto syndrome long narrow face high forehead flush cheeks macrocephaly amazing stuff we have already got it okay yeah this is again a very amazing extra point guys as i am a large for gestationless baby please very very important guys connect 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 i said i am a lga large baby or a big baby right a big baby having a big head connect okay link make mnemonic tactics smart work play, plays a very important role okay i don't want you guys to do hard work do smart work and it'll be fun okay so la lga baby no large for gestational age large for gestational age baby will have a large forehead so macro kefali large forehead also the patient will have a tall height and very important large hands and large feet such a beautiful point so can i appreciate this point yes exactly <laughs> can i appreciate this point that uh, totos everything is large large forehead macrocephaly large hands and large feet so someone having a large hands what do you call it very importantly can you answer in the comment section please large hands kis mein hote hai uh, kya bolte hai large hands ko yes hanabot shiv mansi panola mansi panola is also nice uh, i remember we had we all have spoken on uh, video call i remember mansi or sama shubham <laughs> that your name reminds me of that song only sone sone patole lakha sone sone patole that's right so ha huh. Yeah, that's right. Shubhangi Kaushik is beautifully right that Rithik Roshan has a, a pre-axial polydactyly. That's very well put. Uh, very importantly, can I write arachnodactyly? Very, very important, my dear friends. Arachno, la large fingers, right? Large fingers. Nothing but arachnodactyly. And tall height also very important. So everything is tall. Everything is tall. That's what I want you guys to remember. Very beautifully told by Dr. Grace Sharon. Yes, arachnodactyly is nothing but large fingers. So that finishes one more beautiful point. Two more minutes and this class is over. This class will be exactly for 30 minutes and 30 minutes are now are over. The Soto syndrome an indicator of growth hormone therapy. What do you think, guys? Yes or no? Very beautiful points. Is Soto's syndrome an indicator of growth hormone therapy? I said I am having a large height, large hands, large feet, large for gestational age baby, large forehead. Like if, if it's Soto syndrome, if it comes a very uh, five marks question, you literally get four and a half marks because we cover everything of Soto's. Okay. And again, I, I recommend everyone, see every syndrome, if you talk about proper, it's like a one one hour topic, but we are covering pertaining to exam syllabus and pertaining to final year MBBS so that the whatever the examiner is expecting from us. And these are the beautiful points examiner is asking from you. So very beautifully told by Faizan, Mansi Panola, Priya and Pandey. Is Soto syndrome an indication of growth hormone therapy? The answer is no, it's not an indicator. You don't have to give growth hormone therapy in a case of Soto syndrome. And very, very important, the last question, it's nine o'clock, the class is over. What are the indications of growth hormone therapy? Can you beautifully answer in the comment section, please? What are the indications of growth hormone therapy? Yes, yes. <laughs> Akash kehra hai, aapki watch gala time dikha rahi hai. Achha, achha. क्या दिख तुम्हारी वॉच क्या दिखा रही है ये बताओ मुझे <laughs> मुझे सारी बैलम के लिए बहुत सारे वीडियोस रिकॉर्ड भी करने हैं ब्रो दैट्स व्हाई अच्छा थिस राइट ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल हां दैट्स राइट सो क्या कहते हैं हां शुभांगी इज राइट वेरी वेल पुट आकाश इज आल्सो राइट द इंडिकेशंस ऑफ ग्रोथ हार्मोन थेरेपी आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली टर्नर नूनैन एंड प्राडर विली टर्नर नूनैन एंड प्राडर विली आई वांट यू गाइस टू रिमेंबर दीस थ्री ब्यूटीफुल सिंड्रोम्स यू डू अ ग्रोथ हार्मोन थेरेपी हैज एवरीवन अंडरस्टूड दैट फिनिशेस द 30 मिनट्स ऑफ क्लास थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन फॉर दिस ब्यूटीफुल पार्टिसिपेशन लेट्स हैव अ क्विक रीकैप ऑन दिस ब्यूटीफुल अमेजिंग क्लास व्हाट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड इन दिस क्लास व्हाट डिड वी अंडरस्टूड we understood that we have two choices in life number one to accept conditions as it is or to beautifully positively accept the responsibility of changing them then also i understood about a beautiful syndrome known as ellis van creveld syndrome where the patient had polydactyly dystrophic friable nails short limb dwarfism and asd i also understood that asd is a left to right shunt because the left side of the heart has a higher musculature so the blood will always flow from left to right unless you do eisen mingerization or reversal of shunt or a pulmonary stenosis then also i understood a beautiful thing known as epidermolysis bullosa where there is a breakdown in the epidermis forming bulla and the skin is very very fragile 
then also i understood a beautiful syndrome known as soto syndrome uh, large forehead uh, flushed cheeks pointed chin long narrow face and everything is large large i would say large height i would say large hands i would say large forehead i will say lga a beautiful photographic memory and your patients are your real teachers what else what else what else and sotos may you don't give a growth hormone therapy in turner moon and, and prater willie you give a growth hormone therapy okay that finishes this class thank you so much everyone for this beautiful participation <laughs> yeah that finishes this class because i have to do a lot of recordings also so we have to cut short the class for 30 minutes and uh, virendra sinha thank you thank you so much everyone for this beautiful participation and before leaving we have i, I only remember one very quick share and um, या जो मैं अभी जो मैं एक शेर सुनाना चाहूँगा जो मैं ऑलरेडी सुना चुका हूँ लेकिन वो शेर इतना अमेजिंग है तो मैं दोबारा सुनाऊँगा ठीक है तो शेर क्या है शेर शेर कहता है तुझे प्यार करना नहीं आता मुझे प्यार के सिवा कुछ नहीं आता तुझे प्यार करना नहीं आता मुझे प्यार के सिवा कुछ नहीं आता दुनिया में जीने के सिर्फ दो ही तरीके हैं एक तुझे नहीं आता एक मुझे नहीं आता so this is the beautiful evening quote shairi which we have already spoken but i liked it so i thought of uh, saying it again tujhe pyar karna nahi aata mujhe pyar ke siwa kuch nahi aata duniya mein jeene ke sirf do hi tarike hain ek tujhe nahi aata aur ek mujhe nahi aata thank you so much everyone for this beautiful participation tomorrow evening again 8:30 pm on our pediatrics by dr anand app we going to speak beautiful amazing points on the next slide in the tomorrow's class what are we going to speak in the tomorrow's beautiful class we going to talk about something known as mulberry molars something about congenital syphilis we going to talk about then also in tomorrow's class we going to talk about puberty we going to talk about adolescent period and we going to talk about the sequence of changes of puberty in girls sequence of changes of puberty in boys and also we going to talk about very very important something known as tanner's staging thank you so much everyone please take care and 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 and, and bye bye